So today we are starting a two part series on stochastic gradient uh, method. So my idea would be to discuss from two different sources. The first source is a paper which is called linear convergence of gradient and proximal gradient methods using the Polak Lojasevich condition means it's called the PL condition. So it's a special type of growth condition of behavior of the function. Uh, now let me first discuss why we need stochastic gradient descent method because in machine learning it is very very popular very very common and what is the key idea behind it. So in gradient descent, so let's first talk about gradient descent just for a moment. So gradient descent, you are just talking about minimizing the function fx where x is running over all of Rn and f is a function from Rn to R. And in our setting, we will consider the function f to be smooth. Smooth means it is not only differentiable, but its gradient is also continuous as a function of x. So that's the basic structure. And the iterative scheme that we use is that xk plus 1 is equal to xk minus alpha k grad of fx k. So this is the kth iteration which we will check whether it, is, it really is a minimizer or not by checking whether it satisfies some kind of optimality condition. If it is not a minimizer then we will improve it and come to the next point xk plus 1. In such a way usually we want the function value to decrease but every time we did not do that. And uh, so when we are looking at method where we are decreasing the function value at every time, we are generating what is called monotonic methods. And if we are not doing so, we are calling it non-monotonic methods. And this is the updated value. Updated iterate. And this one is called the step length which machine learners, machine learning people call learning rate, we will see why. So this is the very basic structure where this minus grad fx k is the descent direction. Basically what you do in optimization is very naive. You have a point xk where you check whether it is a point where the optimality condition is satisfied. If it is, we stop. If not, move in a direction dk, sorry dk, where if you move a certain amount along dk, say alpha dk, up to here could be alpha could be very small, say alpha k dk, then xk plus alpha k dk, this point is this point, xk plus alpha k dk, is a new point, sorry, alpha xk plus alpha k dk, it's a new point, and we always expect that the function value decreases. That is what is the basic structure of an optimization method, but this need not be the case every time. So there are all the whole class of methods called non-monotonic methods, which are also important nowadays, and I think that's also an important thing that one has to keep in mind, because that, that whenever I go from one point to another, there is a idea that my function value should decrease. This is a type, typical attitude in the mind of optimization students or optimizers in general, but that need not be the case. So modern research, especially in machine learning, uses non-monotone methods, right? So we will show you what non-monotone methods as we go through this uh, uh, course structure. So let me now talk about uh, stochastic gradient descent. So what is stochastic gradient descent? And why you need to use this stochastic business? Means why probabilistic stuff should come in? In 
machine learning you are often minimizing a function fx but fx now has a particular structure the structure that it has is the following in most cases you have a sum of convex functions each i is a convex function i is equal to 1 to n and or maybe capital n if you want and you divide by 1 by n so what is this fix so i is the a label that you give for the training points so there are capital n training points and for each x which is the feature you are trying to see what is the answer we get at the ith training point is whether you're checking what is the error with the level so you get some answer so it gives you some answer so what is the error that you have from the level right so now you take the average error and you want to minimize the average error so this is the measurement of the error at of the feature so maybe the feature should give you plus one or minus one it, it has given you something else so you you look at the error right so that error minimization is a core idea of machine learning error minimization is what you do in machine learning and that is exactly what you are going to uh, do in most problems of data science so this is the type of problem that we need to minimize using this approach but the problem is that if n is very large every time you have to do so many gradient computations and that is very costly and also time taking so you just don't do that and here is where you bring in randomness now the question is is this really a nice formulation that is a very important thing whether standard things that you know come under this formulation now let me show you so in general i have i don't have to bother about one by n one by n may not be always required i may just bother about this one because i just have to minim to find a minimizer i just have to minimize this one right now just look at this thing and you will be seeing that many very well known functions are of this form where which we minimize for example you take this function fx to be norm of ax minus b the norm square of ax as my x minus b whole square to minimize this it is called a linear least square problem so if you minimize this function if you minimize so this is this is or x in rn so a is say an m cross n matrix so this is called a linear least square problem so is a linear least square problem a problem of this kind can that be solved by using this what we are trying to now call stochastic gradient method here the idea will be very simple that instead of choosing computing the grad fi's of every i and then add, adding them up you randomly choose one of the i's and do its grad fi and run a gradient descent using that particular fi that is what we will soon show you but let us just show you that how this is a form in this now suppose ai right ai has So a a i is the ith row of a. Then f of x is actually norm of the vectors of this form a one x minus b one a n x minus b n sorry a m i have m rows so b m so there are m vectors so basically this norm is a norm vector in rm and i am going to take its square norm euclidean norm which is same as taking a1 x minus b1 whole square which is f1 x plus amx minus bm whole square which
to the appendix. So you see it is of this form. So this is the first structure. Now we have to see what is the structure of the stochastic gradient method. Now the interesting part is that what we say is that we, we randomly choose from these FIs. We assume that these I's are distributed, these indexes are distributed by some distribution. And we randomly choose, given a random choice, like by some method, we, maybe we are generating random numbers, whatever is the last random number in the random number series, we we'll choose that I. That could be. So there are many, many ways. So now how will we write? So at the kth iterate, so let me just, uh, what should I do? Maybe I should just rub this part here and write the stochastic gradient uh, algorithm. So what we do at the kth iterate, when we have reached xk, so we among, so, so I have now n such trading points, so n such functions. So I am choosing at the kth iterate, I am choosing ik. So ik could be any one of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, four, ik could be 2, ik could be 1, ik could be anything. So I now write xk plus 1 is equal to xk minus alpha k which is the same alpha k that you saw into grad f i k x k. So instead of having a summation of so many gradients, because n could be very large, your training points in machine learning could be very large in supervised learning. So that you just have one x k, right? No, one i k. So you reduce your computational effort, but then you have introduced randomness. And it is very important to understand at this point, once you have done put a random thing here, your output is a random variable. So what you do now is a random variable. This is a random variable or a function of the random variable. This is a, this is a key fact that you have to keep in mind. Now this thing is the iteration of, this called the stochastic gradient descent. Actually, alpha k can be either held constant or alpha k is actually designed in such a way that it updates. The more information you get, you, you have more, the more information you get, the more better way you can adapt alpha k. So alpha k is basically learning the progress of the algorithm. So machine learning people usually call it learning rate. So, so this is x k is a discrete random variable with uniform distribution. X k is a this x k i k basically you can say yeah because you can choose the any one of them with probability one by n. So it is basically um, exactly it's a, it's a, if you look at the distribution, it's a uniform distribution, rather discrete uniform distribution. Right, you're right. That is what it is. So it, it, every one has a, at any point k, any one of these has a probability of 1 by n to be chosen here, right? So, but how do you match it up with the gradient descent? To match it up with the gradient descent, we have to assume one very important fact. Is that the expectation of the gradient of i k f of x k so because now this has been randomly chosen, so this is also a random variable. xk was a random variable because it also came through that kind of a random choice. So this is a function of a random variable, so it is a random variable. But the expectation of this is always assumed to be this. So essentially we are constructing at every moment unbiased estimators of gradient of fxk. So this is what is assumed. So this is the basic idea of uh, gradient descent method. And one of the very good books which write about this is this book called Optimization for Data Analysis by Stephen Wright and Benjamin Recht because 
as we progress through the algorithm i'll give you in the second part i'll give you a de more detailed idea about how the method is carried out and then we will uh, go to the algorithm which is in that paper so let's uh, stop this now and uh, just uh,